Hey y'all, I'm Stacy. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're turning the classic French dish ratatouille into a quick and easy one pot meal that's perfect for a busy weeknight. To get started, I've heated about two tablespoons of olive oil over high heat in a large Dutch oven. Now we're gonna be adding quite a few vegetables to this, so you wanna make sure that you're starting with a big pot. I added an onion that we diced finely and a green bell pepper and just cook that for three to five minutes until those onions are translucent. Next, I'm going to add about three cloves of garlic that I've minced and we're only gonna cook that for about a minute, really just until it's fragrant. We, we don't want to burn that garlic. Stir that around. I'm going to add a zucchini that we've chopped. Just a rough chop is perfectly fine on this. I've got a squash that we've chopped, and I've got a small eggplant that we've chopped. Now, a, a note on the eggplant. The smaller ones that you can find are gonna work better for this recipe. They're gonna have a thinner skin and fewer seeds. The big ones will work just fine, but if you have a problem with those seeds, you wanna try to find a smaller eggplant. It's perfectly fine leaving the peel on too. That's another reason why you wanna choose a small one. It's totally a matter of personal preference. We're gonna cook this around for just a few minutes. Then we're gonna add about three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. This chicken broth is gonna help add some flavor and also gonna give us a little steam to cook these vegetables. We're gonna cover this, reduce the heat just a little bit and cook for three to about five minutes and then we're gonna get moving on with our next step. Once we've given that some time to cook down, we're going to add about a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. And we're just gonna add the juice that came in that can as well, just to give us a little bit more flavor. And here's the part that makes this the perfect one pot meal. We're going to add about four, three to four cups of shredded cooked chicken. Now I love to pick up a rotisserie chicken at the grocery store for this because you take it, you shred it up, and you don't have to worry about cooking it either. Stir that in. We're gonna add about half a teaspoon of dried basil. Right over the top. A little salt. Some black pepper. Then you're, all you're gonna do is just cook this until the vegetables are tender to your liking. Everybody's preference is gonna be a little bit different, so just cook them till they're soft enough like you like them. Folks, you can serve this just by itself, over pasta, over rice, whatever you'd like to turn this quick and easy dish into a one pot meal. You can find this full recipe and tons more on my website at southernbite.com. Just scroll down to the Simply Southern TV section. Y'all enjoy. After he saw the movie named Ratatouille, Stacy's son came to him and asked if they could make one like was in the movie. That sounds like some good father-son time. Yeah, but Stacy says it was ridiculously difficult and really didn't taste any better than the one he had just made for us. So guess which one the littles eat now? Given Stacy's mantra of quick and easy, I'm guessing the easy one. I'm guessing you're right. Plus, that recipe features lots of great vegetables, which you can find from local growers if you just visit sweetgrownalabama.org. Thanks to Sweet Grown Alabama for sponsoring that segment. When Simply Southern continues, we get to the best part of the meal, dessert. Up next, Stacy makes a peach cobbler that he describes as ridiculously easy. I describe it as ridiculously good. My name is Wesley Anderson, wildlife specialist with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Alabama is home to over 40 species of snakes. Whether you like them or not, snakes are an important part of our environment. One of the most common questions is whether a snake is venomous. Instead of just relying on the eyes or the head shape, always use multiple characteristics. 
All snakes have distinctive patterns and colors, so the combination of those colors, along with the body shape, along with the head shape, that determines which species it is, and therefore whether it's venomous or not. Even though Alabama has dozens of species, it's really only the six venomous that everyone should be able to identify. Venomous species include copperheads, cottonmouths, and the eastern coral snake, along with three kinds of rattlesnakes, which are the pygmy, timber, and eastern diamondback. Snakes fill important roles in the environment. For example, rat snakes are aptly named because they eat rodents like mice and rats and offer free pest control. Many snakes, including our vipers, will be more active during daytime, spring and fall, but most active at night during the hot summer months. Backyard habitat management is the best way to reduce snake encounters near the home. The tidier your yard is kept, like keeping the grass short, trimming back shrubs, and moving objects off the ground, the less appealing it is for a snake. Also be sure to keep the area under the bird feeders tidy and pet food secured to reduce attracting rodents, which in turn may attract snakes. There are no at-home remedies for snake bite that actually work. The most important thing to do is get to the hospital. There's no proven product on the market that effectively deters snakes. Instead of wasting your time with snake repellent, tidy up the yard and crack open a field guide about Alabama snakes. What we eat, what we wear, it all starts somewhere. And if it's good, it usually starts with a farmer. And that somewhere is right here in Alabama. In a field, in a barn, on a tractor. Right now, there's a farmer starting something good for all of us. And it all starts right here in Alabama. There's no such thing as downtime when you own a farm. This is your land. You tend it and try to get the most from it, no matter the weather or time of day. It's been that way for generations. And for generations, your local quality co-op store has been there for you. With a full range of agriculture supplies and services, from feed to fertilizer, seed to grain storage, and the right hardware for any application, you'll always find what you need. Plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweetcorn Alabama, we just saw it as such an amazing platform to be able to market for farmers and small Alabama businesses. Being a niche producer, a commercial mushroom laboratory, um, it's very important that we kind of get the word out about who we are and Sweet Grown has been monumental in helping us do that. I think just support your local community, your neighbor. That's the backbone. Discover what's growing in your neck of the woods at SweetGrownAlabama.org.